Many of those who study a master's degree do so to go their network. Let's look with hard data to some examples of how that works. Let's start with the concept of a global network. You may have heard about the idea of the six degrees of separation. That is the concept that all people are six or fewer social connections away from each other. Let me give you an example that I use in class about a job that I get through a connection and I love. I got this job because my friend Nancy a level one connection introduced me to Mark, a level two, who introduced me to Michael, a level three, who introduced me to Christian, a level four. If you think about it, you probably know 100 people from school or from work. Each one of them know 100 people, so you have 10,000 in total, and each one of them know another 100 people. So now you're at 1 million people. But the problem is that if you live in a small town, soon you run out of people. We all know each other. Andrew is one of my level one connections in LinkedIn. We live five miles away, that's eight kilometers. We have 616 connections in common. What I personally did was rather than to stay in Atlanta, Georgia, I went for my MBA in Washington, DC. By doing this, I got more connections in Washington. Then by working in Switzerland, I got more connections in Switzerland, and then in Sweden, and then in Dubai. The ones in Dubai are interesting because each one of them at level two is bringing about a thousand connections. Once upon a time, this was a theory. Now, thanks to LinkedIn, we can actually test it. I keep my profile open on LinkedIn so that students and my contacts can go and see for themselves. Having LinkedIn contacts in 193 countries enabled me to grow my number one uh, or level one contacts to around 13,000, the level two to two million, and the level three to over 100 million. You don't have to go to another continent to achieve that. Many years ago, I traveled to the north of Peru for work. And there I met a peddler who had a high school education. And what he told me was that he wanted to go for university in Lima because that way he will meet more people, more connections, and will be able to get a better job. If you live in the north of Peru, in a small town, or in the north of Argentina, in another small town, and you were to travel to Lima or to Buenos Aires, you will expand your network and you will have a better chance to get more job opportunities just because of that. You don't have to travel from one continent to the next. In the next section, we are going to look at whether classes which are online are a good idea. 